Again, sun exposure converts cholesterol to vitamin D, leading to transformation in the liver and kidneys. So if you've got liver disease, if you've got kidney disease, if you've got problems with your skin, inflammatory problems in your skin, you're at risk possibly for not producing adequate vitamin D from sunlight exposure. So those of you that may have, like for example, an inflammatory skin condition or autoimmune hepatitis, some type of liver inflammatory problem, maybe you've been diagnosed with fatty liver, or maybe you're just an alcohol drinker, right? And you're damaging your liver through alcohol consumption. Many of you have been told that a glass of wine a night is perfectly fine. I would tell you a glass of wine a night is a surefire way to damage your liver and to reduce your capacity to produce adequate vitamin D. And this is actually one of the reasons we see a lot of vitamin D deficiency is because so many people consume alcohol on, alcohol on a regular basis and think that it's okay. But one of the other issues is the kidney damage, right? And so what disease is associated with kidney damage? Predominantly diabetes. And diabetes, meaning elevations in blood sugar that can damage your kidney over time, reducing its capacity to convert inactive vitamin D to the active version of vitamin D. So if you're diabetic and you've got uh, alcohol in your diet on a regular basis, and let's just say you're um, slathering up with sunscreen because that's what your dermatologist told you. Or maybe you have a skin inflammatory condition and so your dermatologist is telling you to smather up you know, with sunscreen. Look, those, are, those of you who do this that are in this scenario, those are the ones that are at the, one of some of the greatest risk for vitamin D deficiency. Now, why would we not want to have a vitamin D deficiency? Like what kinds of problems show up with vitamin D being low. Let's just go through a, a short list of some of the diseases that we know vitamin D deficiency can cause or contribute to. Number one, vitamin D deficiency can contribute to cancer. There are, I think to date, 19 different forms of cancer that we know vitamin D can contribute to. We know that vitamin D deficiency is linked to diabetes. Now, those of you listening, pay attention. This is type one and type 2 diabetes. So not just autoimmune diabetes, but also blood sugar diabetes. So both these conditions, vitamin D deficiency can contribute to. We know that vitamin D deficiency can cause muscle pain. We know that it can cause osteoporosis or bone loss. We know that it is, contributes to Alzheimer's or dementia. We know that vitamin D deficiency highly linked to multiple sclerosis. Multiple sclerosis, very, very common. There's a lot of major research on MS being caused or worsened by low levels of vitamin D. And we could also add, as a kind of a broad over spectrum here, we could add high blood pressure. We could add congestive heart failure. We could also add autoimmune disease as a whole. So vitamin D, because one of its functions is that it tells your immune system or helps your immune system regulate which immune cells are allowed into circulation. Vitamin D regulates the strength of those immune cells. So, so in essence, sometimes your immune cells are too strong, sometimes they're too weak. Vitamin D helps to discern which ones are too strong, which ones are too weak. Kick those out of your circulation to allow the ones that are working just right. If you've heard the tale of Goldilocks and the Three Bears, right? The porridge is too hot, too cold, just right. Well, that's what vitamin D is for your immune cells. It helps to delineate which ones are too too cold and which ones are too hot, right, so to speak. So very important that you understand that if you have any of these conditions and you haven't had your doctor look at your vitamin D levels, now it's time to ask. Let's get the testing done. Hey, don't forget to check out the rest of the series right here. Make sure you hit subscribe below. And as always, thanks for tuning in.